back here in Maine, the Levitt football team hosted York. Tegan Hines passes to Jake Nelson, who makes the nice juggling catch for the York touchdown to tie the game at seven. But it did not stay tied for long. Two plays later, Damon Calder takes the handoff and races 67 yards for the touchdown. It was his second of the game, and Levitt led 13 to seven. Then the Hornets defense makes a big play. Cole Warren picks up the fumble and returns it for the touchdown to extend the lead 21 to 7. Then back on offense, Wyatt Hathaway fires downfield to Damon Calder for another touchdown in the 50 to 7 Levitt win. The Hornets are now 4 and 0. It was homecoming in South Paris as Oxford Hills hosted Bangor. The Vikings marched the field on their first possession and Emerson Brown caps off the drive with a 13 yard touchdown run to make it 7 to 0 Oxford Hills. The Vikings defense would dominate the Bangor offensive line. Now Brown brings down the runner for a loss. Then Colton Carson busts through the line for the sack of the quarterback. Oxford Hills wins 45 to 0 to improve to 3 and 1. To Class D, where Oak Hill hosted defending state champ Wells. Early in the third quarter, Tyler Bridge goes up the middle for a 12 yard touchdown run to give Wells a 36 to 13 lead. Then on, then on Wells' next possession, Peyton McKay takes the handoff and goes 55 yards for the score. Wells stays unbeaten with the 56 to 13 win. They host unbeaten Lisbon on Friday. Nokomis hosted Waterville in a Northern Sea matchup. Trafton Gilbert scores on the short touchdown run to put Waterville on top 7-0. to zero. But Nokomis tied it and then takes the lead when Andrew Haining finds Chance Graves for the touchdown and the Warriors win 26-1. And that's